North Rockland football, head coach, James Hickey. Assistant coaches, Joe Gizzi, Gary Dorkowitz, Ralph Tanner, Preston Kendrick, Kelvin Smith, Pierre Thivenat, and John Hickey Sr. Special team achievements, ranked 24th in New York State. Huge notable wins over Suffren, Mamaroneck, and Monroe Woodbury. A record nine college commitments. Coach's comments, there are many positives to take away from the 23 football season. This season, we made significant strides in building a team and program that our school and community can be proud of. Our players showed great effort, positive attitudes, and toughness throughout the year. We finished the season 7-3, and three, the best finish for Red Raider football team since 2017. We secured important victories against playoff teams, including beating Suffren for the second year in a row and seeking revenge against Mamaroneck and Monroe Woodbury. The team ended the year ranked 24th in New York State, demonstrating significant growth in three phases of the game. Our offense generated 2,800 yards, 29 touchdowns, and averaged 23 points per game. Meanwhile, the defense continued to improve by holding opponents to an average of 16 points per game and securing 11 interceptions. Particularly notable was our defensive performance against Carmel Rams, li limiting them to their lowest offensive output of the season as they went on to win the state championship. Additionally, a record-breaking nine players are set to play collegiate football next year, marking the highest number of Red Raider football commits in over three decades. We wish all the seniors nothing but the best. You're forever a part of the North Rockland football family. Once a Red Raider football player, always a Red Raider football player. Red Raider boys soccer. Coaches Chris Dwyer and Greg Borchers. Special team achievements. 9-0-1 league champions and finished the regular season with a 12-2-1 overall record. They were the second overall seed in the Section 1 AAA class tournament. Lost in the section championship to the number one seed Arlington to finish runner-up in Section 1. Coach's comments. 2023 was one of the best in school history. We advanced to the Section Final Four for the fourth time in school history and won the league title now making it six years in a row. We finished the season with a 14-3-1 record and earned the two seed in the sectional playoffs. Some graduating seniors have been part of three straight league titles, compiling a 39-12-1 record during their three years on varsity. They lost just two league games during that span. This group of seniors are an exceptional group, and we couldn't be more proud of the steps they've taken to improve as soccer players, teammates, and young men. We wish them the best of luck moving forward, and we will work hard to continue their legacy. Girls Soccer, Head Coach Phil Madonia, Assistant Pete McGovern. The team finished the 2023 season with a record of 13-3 and, and a place in the Section 1 Final. The girls finished the year ranked number 7 in New York State, was also awarded a Scholar Athlete Team Award for Academic Excellence. Overall, it was an amazing year for the team and a bounce back from 2022. The team only let up 9 goals all year in the 16-game regular season. The senior captains were exceptionally in leading the team and teaching the younger players how to succeed. North Rockland Field Hockey Coaches Alexandra Vipolis and Jenna Fox Special Team Achievements Sectional Qualifier for the 10th year in a row New York State Scholar Athlete Team Award Coaches Comments Our seniors played a major role in carrying out the values of our program. Although small in numbers, each senior has made a big and lasting impact. Our seniors always brought the energy and set the tone for a positive work ethic and drive. Despite any adversity our team faced, our seniors never hesitated to pick the team back up and remind our younger players of our core values and to remain committed to our vision and success. Our seniors have always demonstrated drive, sportsmanship, and a resilient attitude. In addition, to these athletes having remarkable attributes that make them amazing players and teammates, they undoubtedly are going to be model citizens that continue to positively contribute to their communities. Girls Swimming and Diving. Head coach, John McAlarge. Assistant coaches, Cassandra Ravino and Sarah Kynes. Special team achievements, third place at the Rockland County Championships and seven swimmers competed at the Section 1 Championships. Coach's comments, this year was all about rebuilding 
and rebuild we did. Despite facing some of the toughest opponents on our schedule, we stayed fiercely competitive, with most losses coming with just 10 to 12 points from a mere place or two. Despite grappling with some tough opponents, we never backed down. Every single member of the team rose to the challenge, achieving personal bests that left us all astounded. Girls Volleyball, Coach Peter Eckert, Assistant Coach Jessica Shelley, JV Coaches Lauren Michella. The team appeared in the Section 1 Class AA AAA Finals for the sixth year in a row. We have won the championship three of the last four years while improving our overall record to 106 and 17. The team focused on returning to the finals and worked hard to do it. We were a team from the beginning, which started when preseason workouts in April of 2023. We wish our seniors the best in the future. We will miss them all. I'm looking forward to having an outstanding season next year. Boys Volleyball, Varsity Coach, Peggy Stead, Varsity Assistant Coach, John Denby. Team qualified for the sexual quarterfinals this year. We had a talented and motivated group of young men that worked hard to be successful. Our varsity team consisted of a good mix of seniors and juniors this year, with most of our starting players returning next fall. Some of our seniors will be going to play volleyball in college. This year, the boys hosted their first volleyball tournament, the Carroll Cup, honoring former coach and social study teacher Mike Carroll. Mike dedicated over 20 years to the development of volleyball teams in North Rock. The team went undefeated during pool play, but sadly lost in the playoffs. We hope to make this an annual event. The team also participated in the Kankowski tournament at Clarkstown South, making it to the playoff rounds, finishing in second place. The boys hosted the annual Volley for a Cause match, raising money for the children's cancer. We are very proud of all of our team achievements and look forward to the future. Girls Tennis, Coach Nick Teglis. The girls team played with exceptional seniors this year who always fought hard, had a great attitude, and never gave up. I'm incredibly proud of how much you all have improved throughout the years, how well you played, and for all that you've done and achieved on and off the tennis court. It has been a pleasure coaching you girls over the past few years, and I wish you all the best as you move on to the next chapter in your lives. Go Raiders! Boys Cross Country Head Coach Christopher Lent Volunteer Assistant Coach Tyler Perry Special Team Achievements League 1C and Rockland County Champions for the last five years Second at Section 1 Class A Championships Third in Section 1 overall when combined classes Eighth at New York State Federation Championships New York State Scholar Athlete Team Award Top 15 ranking in New York State all season, all classes. Coaches' comments. Once again, the North Rockland Boys Cross Country Team was among the best teams in the county, section, and New York State. The hard work they put in over the course of the summer paid dividends throughout the season. Led by senior captains Austin Curry and Mike Sahin, the varsity team never placed lower than second in any race during the regular season. The boys won their third straight league and county title in dominant fashion. Though they came up short at sections with a second place finish to Arlington, the varsity boys redeemed themselves by placing ahead of Arlington at the New York State Federations to end the season as the top team in section one. The team will return six of the top seven varsity runners this fall. Add to that a JV squad that won their second consecutive triple crown this past fall and the sky's the limit for these extremely talented group of young men. We will miss the leadership of our seniors and wish them the best of luck in all of their future endeavors. Girls Cross Country, Head Coach Brian Diglio, Volunteer Assistant Chris Pagano. Special Team Achievements, finished the season ranked top 20 in New York State Class A, finished second at the Section 1 Championships, and finished third at the County Championships. 
We were league champions and a New York State Scholar Athlete Team Award winner. Coaches Comets, the 2023 North Rockland Girls Cross Country Team, had what would be considered by many a very good season. But that failed to live up to their expectations and standards. The team lost to a talented Arlington squad in the section championship. However, it was a bittersweet experience as it also brought an end to a terrific group of seniors whose loss will be felt greatly next year. Cheerleading, head coach, Tanya Kelsch. Assistant coaches, Chrissy Stanionis. Volunteer coaches, Zeta Lennon and Justin Hood. Fall season highlights. Walter Pana's game day competition, first place. Fall sectional championships, third place. Coaches comments. The fall season consists of both cheering for the football team and game day competitions. This year we combined both JV and varsity for the game day competitions. We were able to secure a third place finish at the sectional championships. We are very proud of this team and how they mastered this new division of competitive cheer. Winter season highlights. Coaches comments. This team continued the legacy of being one of the best teams in the section and state. The team put the extra time in to overcome obstacles, gain new skills, and master their routines to execute them flawlessly when it mattered the most. At the state championship, they advanced to the final round with a flawless routine and repeated that again in that round. We want to thank our seniors for their dedication and leadership to the program. They will continue to be successful as they move on to their next chapter. We will miss them dearly and they have left their mark once again for the next group to work up to. Best of luck to all of you in college and your future endeavors.